Hey, what's going on? This is Brandon here from Beast Mode Trading. Uh, wanted to do a little walkthrough for Paula. She's uh, our newest client here. We're going to give her a, a brief walk down kind of what we do daily here at Beast Mode Trading and how simple things are and how we are on the correct side of the trends more time than not. So, uh, Paula, if I get your attention to the CL chart, um, I'm going to show you uh, the different tools that we have here at uh, Beast Mode Trading. Um, it's very, very simple. Uh, so let's get started. We got, a, like I said, three different day trading systems. Um, number one, I'll put a number one up here uh, just, to, just to kind of remind you. The system is number one. Uh, this is our uh, OG day trading system uh, per se. I traded this system for about a year to build my account and only took these signals day in and day out. So this system one, uh, we have uh, three rules or three criterias we look for. Um, rule number one, we have this SSPT Shogun custom indicator here at Beast Mode. When we get an up arrow, uh, what does that mean to you guys? To me, that means that I have a bias to grab calls. So once this arrow prints from this point over to this side, I'm looking for uh, a, a very good entry point. So once we get this indicator, once we get uh, that confirmation and trend, we're looking to go long. We look for our first blue arrow on a blue line. So once this prints, we can already see that we have the blue line. Um, so where's our first blue arrow at? It's, it's actually right here. So once this candle closes, we are taking calls right here. In this case, we're talking about the CL futures. We would take a buy position in uh, CL futures. So it's, it's that easy. All we look for is an up arrow for an uptrend on a blue line um, in that first blue arrow. So once that blue arrow prints, we look at previous market structure. So if this is our entry and we always agree that you need to have a plan. Uh, you trade this plan with proper risk management and uh, we have an over 80% chance to win this trade. So here at this, this circle, that's our entry. We go down here to previous market structure and we're gonna put a stop loss right here. So the same distance that our stop loss is from our entry, we come up here and that's how we get a take profit. So we're gonna have a take profit here. So we have our entry point, stop loss, take profit. When either of those levels are hit, whether it's the loss side or the profit uh, side, you need to have a plan and you need to take action. You know, um, I have some people that are a little more aggressive and I have other people that are a little more conservative. So. That's kind of how I trade. Uh, that's system number one. We look for three, uh, three simple rules, an up arrow, a blue arrow on a blue line, and we take the first blue arrow in an uptrend and we take the first red arrow in a downtrend. So now you kind of have an understanding of what system one does. Let's look and see if we get uh, what an opposite signal would look like. So as you see here, we have a down arrow. What's that mean to me? To me, that means that we're getting a momentum shift to the downside. We'll be looking to take, uh, we'll be looking to take some sells or puts in stock options, um, whatever asset you want to trade. So we don't know what's going to happen. We could lose this trade, and that's why proper risk management is always crucial. So we get that down arrow. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. We just got our first red line. Well, guess what? We got a momentum shift to the downside. We have a red line, and we got our first red arrow. When this candle closes, this is a one minute candle. You come up here to this timestamp. And when that says 58 seconds, if that red arrow is on that chart, I will take a, a sell position. So in this instance, I'm going to put a stop loss or sorry, stop loss. I'm going to put my entry line here because we take this trade and uh, we're going to go to previous market structure. Uh, we'll put a stop out right there. Same distance. Our stop out is we come down here to our take profit and look what happens comes right up, did not stop us out of this trade. Boom, floors right down there to our take profit. So in these two examples, you would have went two and zero oh for the day. Uh, some people that are a little more aggressive, they look for a couple more trades during the day. So think about it. From 6.23 until uh, nine o'clock, you, you were sitting at your computer for about two and a half, three hours, and you were only able to take two trades on this system. This system, like I said, has an 80 plus percent win rate. Um, so if you trade this all week long, you are going to be, uh, you should be able to reap, excuse me, the word of, of being successful. Um, so 
system number one, that's kind of all we're looking for uh, right there. We have um, momentum shift to the upside, blue line, blue arrow, we're bullish, that's our buy signal. Red line, momentum shift to the downside, red line, red arrow, that's our, uh, our cue to go short. And that's how we're oftentimes on the correct side of the trend. So that's system number one. Uh, are you following me still, Paula? Yes. All right, awesome stuff. So system number two, we have a, a texting alert service that sends alerts straight to your phone. Um, in this example, we send alerts um, on SPY. <clears throat> SPY, you can trade SPY, you can trade SPX, you can trade ES futures, or if you want to trade Forex, you can trade the, the USA 500. So these alerts are valid for all those markets. It's just a personal preference, whether you want to trade uh, futures, whether you want to trade shares, whether uh, what asset you want to trade. So that's totally up to you. I personally like to trade the ES futures on these alerts and SPY stock options. So I like to double dip. What that's going to look like is it's going to look like something like this. Um, we're going to say uh, SPY pressure, buy SPY puts. You would buy uh, ES or you would sell the ES. You would buy SPX puts or you would sell the USA 500. Uh, we got this alert at 1.15 p.m. Um, and then we share when we're locking it in. When we lock it in, we set a trail stop, typically a four to 5% trail stop. Um, some days when we get a continuation in our favor, uh, we reap the reward of a, a higher win. But other days when it reverses, we still lock in a guaranteed winner, um, but we, we take a smaller win. So once again, that's totally up to the individual and how they want to execute that. Um, if you're looking for my recommendation, I recommend uh, setting a trail stop because more times, or maybe not more times, but I'd say at least half the time, or maybe a little bit more, you're going to get a continuation in your favor. So you'll, it brings your average winners uh, up a little higher over the long haul. Uh, just from my experience here, we got another spy crusher alert put signal at 945 AM. And we said, lock it in at 950. This was August 31st. It is now September 2nd. This was our signal on Monday. We had no signals yesterday and uh, we, we did not get a signal yet today so far. So I'm expecting to get a signal, but we can only take what the market gives. So we don't like to force anything. Typically we're getting uh, 10 to 15 trades per week, but today right now we only got one trade, you know? So we can't control what the market um, is doing. We can only control when we enter and how we execute. So that's system number two. You following me, Paula? Yes, I am. Awesome, awesome. So our third system, our third day trading tool that we have, we're going to bring up the CL chart and we're going to show you how trading in this system will keep you on uh, the correct side of things more times than not. Um, so we're going to draw your attention over here. It's a little different than system number one. This is actually system number three. So let me put uh, a number three up here so you're not really confused. Well, what's that? So system number three is right there. Um, we're going to use this bottom box right here to help us get into good opportunity. And we're going to use uh, this box over here for our, our trend. All right. So we, you see we have an up arrow right here at 645, an orange up arrow, which is my custom algorithm um, I've created here at Beast Mode Trading. Uh, like I said, this gives us a couple more opportunities to trade um, during the day. So when you, when you combine system one, system two, and now I'm about to show you system three, you can see how uh, you have a very, very high chance to finish each week green. And as a trader, that's what we strive for. So this system is very easy as well. When you get an up orange arrow on a green candle, we are, um, um, when we get an orange up arrow on a green candle, we are in an uptrend. And we're in an uptrend until we are in a downtrend. Um, so we'd be in an uptrend from uh, 7 a.m. You see 645 down there. These are 15 minute candles. So at 7 a.m. this trend is confirmed up. And then over here, we're in an uptrend until uh, 9, 15 a.m. Eastern time until we're in a downtrend. Well, guess what? We're in a downtrend until what? Until we're back in an uptrend. And this is how we here at the Beast Mode Trading Team me and all my clients are able to extract money together because uh, once again, trading in trend, uh, the moves are typically twice as large as going against the trend. We don't ever try to pick the tops or bottoms. We just stick with our system. So let's recap this. 
when we're in an uptrend, we come over here to our candles and we're looking for this stochastic momentum indicator to get um, undervalued. So let me get my drawing tool back. Um, we use this box in an uptrend. We're looking for these lines to break this uh, negative 40 line. And in a downtrend, we're looking for these lines to break this positive 40 line. So in theory, if we're in an uptrend, we're trying to buy in wherever we want to be in when the market is undersold. So if we're in an uptrend, we want this right here to happen. We would take a, a stab at it right there. We would take a stab at it right there. We would take a stab at it right there. We would take a stab at it right there. And uh, we have a very high chance to get out with the, a winning trade. If we're in a downtrend, we're going to wait for the market to retrace up to the upside. And once we get above this positive 40 line, we're going to take a stab at it once it curls back down. So if we're in a downtrend, we're looking for this situation. We are looking for this situation. We're looking for this situation. We're looking for this situation. And we're looking for this situation. If you follow the rules here, and I'm going to go back and show you some examples of how trading CL futures would have uh, took you today. Um, you can see how it can greatly benefit you in your trading career. So that's, that, that's the secret sauce here at Beast Mode Trading. We don't win them all, but we are very consistent at what we do. So at 7 a.m. Eastern time, we are in an uptrend. So you come down here to the timestamp at 7 a.m. We are in an uptrend until, uh, until when? Until we're in a downtrend to 9.15. So we're going to go from 7 a.m. until 9.15. And I'm going to show you every possibility and example you could have gotten in um, trading trading this way, you know. So we zoom in here. It's 7 a.m. Um, we got a crossover here at uh, 7.03. So if we zoom in even a little bit further, you see how we were both out of bounds per se, and we crossed over about right here. When this candle closed, we actually wouldn't be this candle. When this candle closed, we would take a buy. So I'm going to put a line here. We would take a buy guess what? Your stop out is going to be right there. You're only risking this little bit and then you're going to come up. You have a one-to-one -one, and you have a two-to-one. At that one-to-one -one or two-to-one, I'm setting a trail stop. In this case, you would have rode this thing up here and potentially got out um, up here about 43. So you could have made about five cents on the crude, uh, the, the crude future side. So we're going to erase the lines again, clear the drawing set, and we're going to wait for us to get into another situation. So we're one to know right now on, on uh, the crude. So we did not get undervalued. We're looking for these lines to come underneath this uh, negative 40 area in an uptrend. Uh, let's see when we get another opportunity right here. We got an opportunity. Um, we, we just crossed. So we would take a stab at futures. We would take a stab at it right here. Your stop loss is going to be down there and your one to one is going to be up here. When market structure is large like this, um, I don't like to give it that much. So um, just hear me out. If it comes close to this target up there, I, I prefer to lock it in. If you're in here at this trade at 43.04 and you see 43.08 or 43.09, guess what? You're up right now uh, $40, $50 on just one contract. So I would set a trail stop and, and let it go. My idea of trading is to not hit a grand slam is to take quick calculated moves um, in trend in the market. And more times than not, you're going to be able to extract money um, out of these signals. So in that example, we would have got another winner right there. And let's wait for another setup. So we're still in an uptrend. We did not get completely undervalued yet. And we are in an uptrend and so what? And so we're in a downtrend at 915. So let's see if we get another situation. We just got another situation right here. We would take calls right here at this wick and if you look down there, we just got the cross when this candle closed. Our stop would be right there. Our one-to-one -one would be uh, roughly right here. And our two-to-one would be right there. Guess what happens? At that one-to-one, -one, if you set a trail stop, you would have got a continuation and you just got another winner. So you'd be, you'd be now 3-0 and on the day just trading uh, crude futures, uh, just, just sticking with my, my uh, methodology. Here, we're in another undervalued situation. I will take a stab at it once again right here we would be taking our buys and if we got a candle closed below this wick i would sell out for a loss and we go one to one and we go two to one guess what i'm setting a trail stop right here you get a continuation in your favor so now we are four and oh just trading the beast mode way 
So we're still in an uptrend until what? Until 9.15. So at 9.15, um, right here, we get another situation. Um, we're still in an uptrend. So when we cross right here, I'm taking a call entry here. My stop out is right here. And my one-to-one -one take profit is right there. Guess what? At that one-to-one, -one, I'm taking action, whether I scale out or I set a trail stop. So this one would be another winner. Um, but it, it, you probably get trailed out because the trail it, it immediately went against you. So we'll call that one a winner, or you could call it a wash. So we'll be three, oh, and one. So at 9.15, we are now in a downtrend. So what are we looking for still? Um, we're looking for an overvalued situation um, in a downtrend. So we're going to wait for these lines to get completely oversold or, or above that, that positive 40 mark. So we don't have anything yet. We don't have anything yet. We don't have anything yet. Oh, look right here. We got a crossover. We're taking puts right here. Our stop out is right here. Once again, we have no idea what's going to happen. But when you trade, you need to have a game plan. Here's our two to one. Let's see what happens. Oh, hit your one to one. You set a trail stop. Guess what? You're still in this trade. Depending on your trail stop, you're still in this trade. And you just made a lot more money than, than selling out solely at your one to one. So now we are 4-0-1 oh, um, for this session. So we're going to clear these lines. Let's see if we get anything else. Um, we're waiting to get overvalued. There, it did not quite reach it. Um, let's see what happens. Oh, right here. We're in another overvalued situation. We're going to take a stab at it. We're going to take puts right here. We're going to have a stop out right there. There's our one-to-one. -one. There's our two-to-one. Let's see how it plays out. It's our one-to-one. -one. You can set a trail stop. And you, you probably got stopped out right here on this wick, but you get continuation down here to your, uh, almost your two to one. And that ends the day right there. So that is our three styles of day trading. You may like system one, you may like system two, you may like system three. It's just personal preference. Um, for newer people that come into our room, we like to focus on the SPY, the ES, uh, the SPX and the USA 500. Uh, they call us the SPY crushers, SPY masters. Um, the reason we like that is the liquidity in that market allows a newer trader to be profitable because they don't have to have a large account to trade with us. And you have some clients here in our room that they have a uh, six, six figure accounts and seven figure accounts, and they can still extract money trading spy or SPX with us. So um, that is our three styles of day trading Paula. I hope that will give you a better understanding for tomorrow, uh, what to look for and to put you uh, to get a head start to jump your learning curve and, we look forward to what the future can bring. Um, do you have any questions? Um, I will later, but thank you. That was great. Yeah, no great problem. explanation. I appreciate uh, I appreciate you giving us your time and uh, taking the leap of faith and joining us here at Beast Mode Trading. Um, if there's any questions that uh, I can't answer, um, which is very rarely, but I'm a human as well. Uh, we have people in the room that they have 20 plus years experience. Uh, our room is very diverse, and like I said. Most importantly, we thank you for your time and we look forward uh, to the future. So all aboard, we say, thank you. you have a, uh, you have a blessed day. I'm going to cut the recording. All right. Thank you. Thank you.